Hey everyone, we're going to start with a spawn super shanking device today. And then we're going to wrap that shank in some black 70 denier thread. Just be mindful of that uh, burr on the shank because it will split your thread. So just make some good binding wraps and cover that burr spot. And then once you're happy with it, we're going to add some black silly legs for the tail. And once you got them nice and secure, I'm going to add some Speckled Red Olive Chenille. And once that's secure, I'm going to wrap that chenille back towards the eye of the shank. Just a couple of wraps. And once you're happy with it, tie it off. Snip off your tag end and do a quick whip finish. This is going to be the tail of your fly. So once you're happy with it, set it to the side and we're going to add our fly hole 718 hook with a spawn football bead in black. Next we're going to add our silly legs. and tie those off on the front of the eye of the hook. Get them nice and secure. And when you're happy with it, do a whip finish. And cut off your tag end. And slide that football bead back towards the eye of the hook. And put your thread back on behind the bead. Cut off your tag end. Next, we're going to add our intruder wire in black. And I'm going to go back towards the bend of the hook. Not too far, but just a little bit past. Once you have this, slide your tail on and tie off. Make good secure wraps of that intruder wire. You don't want to tie too much off so it's not closed off, but enough to where you still get movement of your tail. Cut off your tag end of your intruder wire, either with wire cutters or some nice scissors. I have to place a little bit of zappa gap to also just extra durability for that intruder wire so it won't slip out. Next, I'm going to make a dubbing loop with some black squirrel hair. I just put a pinch of dubbing in there. This is going to be a small dubbing loop. And I just stay at the back end of the hook. 
and then advance your thread back and tie off your dubbing loop. Once you're happy with it, cut off your tag end. Next, we're going to add some black ultra wire. Add in your black ultra wire. Then we're going to add some thin skin with fly specs. Then we're going to add our speckled red olive chenille. Next, I'll add some more black silly legs to the middle of the shank. Then I'm going to add some more silly legs to the middle and do a zigzag pattern, like a figure eight, to tie off the middle part. So essentially have three legs each side of the shank. Just take your time with it and do cross zigzag wraps. Advance your thread to the bead and wrap with the chenille. And take your time with it. So you have a lot of stuff. Make sure you're not wrapping the legs. And don't worry, you can manipulate the legs later. Just make sure you get good wraps and not bind down your legs. And once you're happy with it, tie off your chenille and cut off your tag end and pull your legs apart, manipulate them because you're going to be pulling your thin skin over the top back part of the shank and tie off your thin skin. Then cut off your tag end. Then you're going to wrap with your ultra wire. This will help bind down the thin skin, add segmentation, and also help keep your legs in position. So as you wrap, just manipulate your legs to where you want them to be. And once you're happy with it, tie off your ultra wire. And cut off your tag end. I like to do a double whip finish. Cut off your thread. But just trim your legs to where they're pretty even, not too long, but still long enough to make them look pretty buggy. 
All right, add my UV resin. You could finish your fly however you want. With head cement or zap a gap, whatever. And cure it. And there you go, you have the slick back jiggy pats. I know it's a little bit difficult one to tie, but it's really fun and it catches fish. Thanks for watching.